In this couple of videos, we're going to look at using Photoshop to create finished graphic designs. We're going to make um, a flyer for a Greenbank High School Halloween disco. And we're going to make it by bringing together various parts, editing the parts within Photoshop, and then exporting and saving the various assets so they can be used again. So let's start. Start. First thing we want to do is we want to bring in the background image. So I'm going to click on File and Open. And you'll find the resources in Work Files, Computing and IT. And then there is in RO82 Digital Graphics, there's a folder called Resources for Halloween Disco Flyer. And I want to start with the school. And there's just a picture of the front of the school. Now, I want to make my flyer a particular size, sort of thing that people would hand out on the streets to try and advertise something that's going on. So flyers sometimes come in A5. The one I want to make is postcard sized. So a postcard would be 148 millimeters wide and 105 millimeters tall. So I need to check whether my image is that size, and if it isn't, change it until it is that size. So if I click on image and image size, it tells me that the image at the moment is 200 millimeters wide, 141 millimeters high, and it's got a resolution of 221, 221 point half a dozen things. Now the resolution is important. If I'm going to print this out, the resolution needs to be at least 3 100. Now, at the moment, I'm going to worry about changing these to see what happens and see whether I need to change any of these other numbers as well to go with it. And at the moment, these three are linked together. That's what these things mean. If I change the width, if I make it smaller, I will make the pixels that make the picture up smaller. So I'm going to change that to the size I want, which is 148. And quite conveniently, it's changed the height to 104.99, which is as near as anything, the 105 I want. And it's changed the resolution to 295.995 pixels per inch. So that's pretty close to what I want. If it wasn't, I could change these things independently. But you need to be very careful about doing that, about what effect it's going to have. So if I want to change the resolution independently, I can click on to resample. And it's now saying only the height and width are locked to each other. So I can change that number to 300, okay, which is fractionally different. Now, I can't really manufacture extra resolution. It's not made the resolution any higher. It's just changed slightly the size of the pixels. Okay. I can change the height independently by clicking and breaking that link, and I can make that 105. But again, I need to be very careful with these that, that I think I'm doing something I'm not. I'm just actually slightly stretching that picture out. I'm slightly deforming that picture. And whenever you finish with an image, you should always put these back. Okay? So 300 makes the resolution go down. The 148 I want and those numbers are close enough to the 105 and the 300, and I'm going to be happy with that. Now, if I click OK, nothing will appear to happen to the image. It won't appear to change at all. It's zoomed in, and it's fully filling the screen. So if I want to see what it looks like, I can click on to print size, and that doesn't really do it either because it's not really going to be that big. Um, and I can try it on 100%, and that sort of does what it is now. So what we don't really have in here is a way of showing something at exactly the size it's going to be. So whenever you're using um, Photoshop, you are relying on the image size to tell you how big something is. Because if I want to make that smaller, I can zoom out. But I'm not really making it any smaller. I'm just making it go further away. Okay? So that is now my image at the front of the school and that's now the right size 
and it's the right resolution.